All right, so we have all of our uh, switches, outlets, and lights in place now. Um, but as you can see, we don't have our lights showing up on our floor plan, and we want to be able to add wiring showing what switches control what lights. So we want them all on the same plan. Um, also, while I'm uh, mentioning that and thinking of it, if we come down here to our original floor plan, you can see that we have all of our electrical symbols on here now as well. And you most likely don't want all that extra clutter in this view. So if you click in the uh, model space here and again hit VV, you can change your uh, visibility. And if I come down here to electrical fixtures, I can turn that off. And now I don't have to worry about those in this view, but they're all still here. So anyway, uh, where what we want to do now is we want to go to the uh, ceiling plan of my floor. And I want to choose one of these lights and I'm going to hit edit family. And we're going to do this to change the visibility um, within the view that we have right there. So to do that, we're gonna come over here and hit this plus next to views in the project browser. And if you have multiple types of lights, you'll have to do this for each type. I'm gonna come down here to elevations and it doesn't matter which one of these we choose, just choose one of these elevations. And here we have our light, down here is the cone of lighting that it gives. And what we wanna do is we wanna add a reference line. So this is essentially creating a construction line that isn't going to show up anywhere, um, but we're gonna come over here and we want to do it on this particular axis. And we're just gonna click and drag, or actually not drag, just click and then move the mouse cursor down. And how far down? You just wanna come down far enough that it crosses the viewing plane. So you don't have to go all the way to the floor, but down in that vicinity there. And once we have that, we're going to hit load into project. And we can ex overwrite the existing version of our light. And in our ceiling plan, it doesn't actually change anything. But now if we come over here to our electrical plan. We can see that they are now all in place. So now we have all of our lighting along with our switches and our outlets. So the last step is we're going to now come in and we're going to add some wiring. So um, you can do that a couple of different ways. You can use a spline tool uh, to come in and kind of snake a line through all these. I like to actually come into systems here and you can see when you come into systems, you can actually come over here to electrical equipment and use this to add your switches, uh, your devices you can use for your outlets. And then of course, lighting fixtures, um, which we did that all through architecture and component, but it seems that you can do the same thing right through here as well. So I'm gonna click on wire and the way your wiring works is you're actually drawing arcs. So I'm gonna start um, maybe in one of the bedrooms um, to start with. So I'm gonna zoom in here on the bedroom and I'm gonna start at this particular switch. And I'm not gonna draw straight to the light that I wanna start with. I'm gonna go about halfway and I'm gonna draw in an arc. And then I'm gonna draw the next one. And you wanna connect all of the lights that would be controlled by one switch. You wanna make sure that all of these lights, or I'm sorry, all of the wiring is always shown as curved lines so that it's not mistaken for anything besides what it actually is. And that's just showing the connections of the wiring. Now you do not have to loop this back. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't. Um, you just wanna show that all of these lights are connected on one circuit controlled by this switch. And then over here where we have a three-way switch and realistically, if this were a house I were designing, I'd probably have some more switches in this room rather than have all of these lights controlled by just one pair of three-way switches.
Okay, and that is pretty much all there is to adding wire to your project. Um, again, you're only going to have to do that showing uh, what switches control uh, which lights. So in this room right here, we have our three-way switches, which just means that as we come in, we can turn all the lights in this room on. And as we leave the room, we can turn them all off without coming back across the room and walking across the room in the dark. So I would do the same thing in this room here with my three-way switch. And as I'm looking at this, um, I can see that, you know, I have kind of a little hallway right here. So I really should have another set of three-way switches um, over in the hallway to go with the lighting that's over here. Um, but that should be enough to get you rolling on your electrical plans.